Hey guys, this is Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews here, and today is the unboxing and overview of the CoolPad Canvas by Cricut Wireless. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and this is going to be the unboxing of the CoolPad Canvas by Cricut Wireless Prepaid. Now, obviously, this is a prepaid uh, phone that you can buy at like a store like Walmart, uh, Target, Best Buy, etc. I got this at Best Buy. It came out to a little. Uh, over $44 with tax. Again, I've never heard of this brand, CoolPad Canvas. Uh, so again, I don't know a lot about this phone. I just thought it looked interesting. Uh, again, big phone with big bezels, 5.5 5 .5 inch HD uh, display, 8 megapixel camera, 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor, processor, I can never get that right, right, and 2500 milliamp battery. So, uh, again, I bought this phone along with the ZT uh, Grand X. Uh, so if you guys want to check that other unboxing video, I'm going to be reviewing both of these uh, uh, within the next couple weeks here. And again, I've never heard about this phone or the specific brand of phone, I guess. So I do plan on reselling this phone uh, after reviewing it. Do not plan to activate it as long as uh, the phone actually uh, works with that activation here. But let me go ahead and uh, put this aside here. Let's get this unboxing going, guys. And for the most part, you know, I was very impressed by the ZTE Grand X, uh, Grand 4 or Grand 5X, whatever it's called. And uh, we, again, you know, that, that, that was a ZTE brand. So again, this phone was half the price at $44. The ZTE phone that I, that I bought was a little more expensive. It does have a fingerprint sensor, etc., like that. Uh, for the most part, what you guys get in the box is just a uh, battery, of course, which I'm gonna need, right? Your, your charging wires and your charging bricks. So, so not too, too much. Uh, I remember when prepaid phones had a a thing that actually held the battery in maybe this one was in here uh, but it just was kind of loose so again I think it just popped out where it's supposed to be there you go it's supposed to be right there it was already popped out though so let me get that let me get this together guys really quick and I'm going to go ahead and install the battery here so obviously if, I, if it has a, a battery I can definitely disconnect so one thing I can tell you right now is that this phone does have uh, just a micro USB charging port. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Maybe, maybe not. There you go. So micro USB, no USB type C, which is interesting to me because, uh, you know, the other phone that I just unboxed did have USB C and again, it was under a hundred dollars. Uh, so interesting to note that, you know, you still, uh, can get USB C for less than a hundred bucks. Cause that's, I mean, that's going to be the future eventually. So let me put that aside. You know, right out of the gate though it's got it's got a pretty nice feeling screen capacitive buttons on the bottom just like the ZT grand you got a front-facing camera there uh, and it's just kind of like a solid finished gray uh, not really something that will probably be a fingerprint magnet uh, but you know it doesn't you know volume rockers are here on the side volume rockers right here are probably the nicest thing that this one has going right now uh, power button probably as well it's got kind of like a nice feel to it and really I just kind of like the way the back feels it's got a flash obviously but let's get this popped open let me see if I can get this popped open I'm not 100% positive I'm, I'm, I always feel like really dumb opening these but here we go it's got that little it's got that little lever here on the side so let's see if I can get that going for you guys really quick I did cut my nails recently so so bear with me while I get this going for you really quick obviously that because it has a removable back uh, there should be a slot for a micro SD card slot so micro SD card slot right there again cool pad is the brand I'm, I've never heard of this uh, phone brand again this is just a generic phone uh, from Cricut uh, I wouldn't. I don't. I wouldn't say it's generic because maybe this brand is, you know, I guess uh, relevant in other parts of the world. I'm not familiar with it though. And again, it's just. It, it is just a phone uh, that you know. Hopefully, you know, if you guys don't have. A, you know a lot of money to spend that this is going to you know get the job done for you don't know what version of Android this is running outside of the box so let me go ahead and snap that back to you let me see if I can get this let me see if I can get this turned on for you guys and we'll see, we'll get it going for you guys so let's see all right so it's run, there you go cool pad run by Android so let me see if I can zoom in there just a little bit there you go so Oh, hello. You're gonna get that basic Cricut intro that you would get uh, with most other phones. Excuse the uh, change in 
lighting there. My camera tends to do that now that uh, just because I have it in auto mode, so it'll go back to normal right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up uh, really quick, and from there I will go ahead and uh, show you guys, uh, you know, a little bit of use of this phone. So give me one. So now that I have this phone, uh, you know, past the whole email and setup start, I'm going to go ahead and press I got it. So for the most part, you know, this phone. Uh, is pretty interesting again I've never seen this uh, this specific brand of phone and you can see there that the actual like time uh, widget is like huge I guess I'm not that blind yet uh, but this phone obviously it has a 5.5 inch screen uh, right now I have it set it up on Wi-Fi getting emails uh, saying that you know I have all this stuff going on so again let's take a look at which version of Android this one is running again I I, I, I am not even too sure which version of Android this is running so okay let's take a look so this is running Android 7.0 see if I can get that or not the screen might be wonky on me let's see if it picks it up okay so again this has Android 7.0 I can probably hit it a bunch of times until it actually shows you the little nougat so this actually is not running that old of a version of Android which is shocking to me okay uh, because again this is a $44 budget phone obviously Android uh, O is pr pretty much the predominant uh, version of Android right now with uh, most of the newer devices uh, and the you know the, the stronger and solid device but this one again running Android 7.0 out of the box is just a shock and you can see already out of the gate that it's already updating a lot of features that you know probably need to be updated but for the most part you know you know it seems to be running really smooth again it has a quad core processor uh, processor I, again I can never say that uh, I'm not a fan of the capacitive buttons down here but only because uh, you know, there's a, a specific back button, and I don't know if you can actually, uh, you know, remap that to be something else. Obviously, that is, should be your Android uh, tray. They don't light up either, which I'm not a fan of. You know, again, I don't know if that's something that you can change. Uh, but for the most part, you know, you know, I guess you know if you're not, you're not, if you're not too keen on stuff like that. If you know, if, if I'm gonna have a capacitive button down there, you know, I'm gonna want it to light up. You know, a uh, camera again is an eight megapixel camera. So, you know, we'll go into more of the camera details uh, when that comes out again. Obviously, I feel like, it, you know, it has a crop, but we'll see. You can see me here, hopefully. Let's see, let's see if we can swap displays here. So you can see a little bit of lag there. Let's take a picture real quick. It's so weird. Obviously, it's got internal memory, uh, right? There you go. So, you know, again, I can't really tell you <laughs> You know, if that looks good or bad, honestly, it's hard to tell. Uh, but you know, I mean, for the most part, it's gonna, it's, it's a budget phone. It's gonna take really grainy pictures, etc., like that. Uh, let's go ahead and check out, see how much uh, memory this has outside of the box, actually. Uh, now that we're looking at this, guys, and again, right here, from what I'm seeing, let's see, it's got two gigs of RAM. Uh, it says here it's only got 10 gigs used 10 gigs uh, used 1.73 of 10 gigabytes so I'm assuming that this only has 16 gigs of internal memory and most of that's going to the Android uh, so obviously you're gonna need that uh, SD card slot and you're gonna use it if you're gonna be using this phone especially if you like to take pictures or videos guys and you know I I'm interested to see how well these uh, cameras work as far as video goes it has HDR so that's interesting to know I'm gonna put auto on HDR you know maybe I'll take I'll go out and take some snapshots later uh, you know most people are really interested in seeing like what kind of uh, you know video these take so you, right now you can see that this takes 1080p video Hold on let me go back really quick by default it's set to 720p at 720p but uh, right now I have it set to 1080 right there so you know I, I am gonna get some video tests going on this and the other fo uh, review unit that I have maybe do a little bit of side as uh, side-by-side side comparison videos or something like that which I think is interesting but at the same time you know 1080p uh, is gonna get the job done if you guys are you know like to take short videos or if you like to take or even for YouTube you know you can do stuff like that guys so again you know again this is not uh, you know one of those phones that's gonna you know wow you outside of the box obviously you know it's just a plain Jane looking phone and you know for the most part it's gonna 
it's gonna get the job done when it comes to texting, maybe using social media apps like Facebook. Uh, but again, this is just the first impression video, guys. I will really get to using this phone and playing around with it and messing around with it. But you know, again, probably my one of my favorite things about it is the back portion. It just feels real good. Uh, it doesn't feel like you're gonna drop it or, you know, it doesn't feel too slippery in the hand either. It's a lot thinner than I thought it would be. Uh, and not, not too light and not too heavy, kind of like in the middle, like in the sweet spot of where you would want it to be. Again, you know, 2017, so you know, you see bezels on a lot of these prepaid phones, uh, which again does not bother me in a slight bit. I, I don't really care about having a phone that, that you know, goes all the way to the end of the screen, obviously, but as long as it looks good, as long as the, as the screen looks good, and as long as you're able to use it functionally, I think, you know, there shouldn't be a problem, okay? So again, guys, this is Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews. If you guys like this video, uh, you know, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please share this video if you guys like it, or please subscribe to my channel if you guys like my videos. Keep an eye out for the review video on this, guys. And again, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, give it that thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.